So it is day 43 of this oil spill. After this weekend's developments, no end in sight for the near future. The disaster obviously hitting BP hard, but also many other businesses in the region. Let's go back to Lizzie O'Leary in Grand Island, Louisiana, who's standing by with a guest now who can talk about that side of the story. Yeah, Lori, I'm here with Chris Hernandez, who is the street supervisor for Grand Island. What that is, basically, you're the right hand to the mayor. You're in charge of all this stuff. This is should be tourist season for you. This is Memorial Day weekend. Usually you look out uh, the coast off Grand Island that's filled with boats. Tell me how much business you all lost this weekend. Well, tell you the truth, uh, yesterday, we, we, we spent the day on the beach yesterday. We, we were the only one there, really. Uh, maybe about 50, 60 people on the beach. And, and talking to the, to the owners like uh, Brisside Marina, their sales just from Saturday to Monday, they lost at least 80 to 85 percent of their sales. Talking to, you know, Sherway uh, Supermarket, Shelly Maples, they, they, you know, they lost 80, 90 percent of sales just over the weekend. And it's just the beginning. Our summer has just started. This is supposed to be our best season ever since Katrina. This would have been our major season right now. You make it in the months of summer in Grand Isle. Winter time is very slow, very quiet. But this is the time of season where the island should have been packed yesterday. Probably 20,000 people should have been on that beach yesterday. Easy. Uh, I've noticed being in Grand Isle for a while now that over the past few days, they past three, four days since the president's visit, there are more people here, more people from BP, mm -hmm. more people from the federal government, more people from the Coast Guard. Is that making a difference? It's making a difference, uh, but, you know, they're still cleaning up all tar balls. Uh, we don't see no movements in the marsh area, helping cleaning up the marsh area. The marsh area is contaminated. It's there. Uh, it needs to be picked up. There's nothing happening. We're going back for a boat ride this afternoon, and, and we're bringing other guys with us. There's still nothing happening. The, they are all doing cleanup efforts on the beach itself. It's going great. They're doing a great job, but we need more people. We need more cleanup efforts. We need more booms to protect what's already destroyed, but still protect what's what's left out marsh. And that, that's what we're aiming for. Uh, Mayor Commodell is in a meeting today in New Orleans with, with the Corps and, and with parish officials to try to get barges to block these passes off. That's our key thing. We can get containment barges big river barges, block the main passes. To keep that oil from coming into our marsh is better than booms. That's what we need to do. Uh, I've heard stories uh, about Jefferson Parish folks not trusting BP, each one taking a different helicopter up to look at the oil, mm -hmm. to survey things. How much anger is there right now? Are, are people able to look past that at all and get on the same page about cleanup? Well, there's a lot of anger, a lot of you know, you can take a helicopter ride with me today. I can go show you all the oil that you've seen in the Gulf. It has not been cleaned up. You still got oil boom boats tied up. We don't know why. Why did not these just, they already activated. They have the activation numbers. They have oil booms already on their boats. The pictures I've seen this morning, I looked in the background of these pictures. Now, a live photo today, 8 o'clock this morning. There's not a boat in miles. You can look both ways and it's all slick. It's over a mile wide. It's over 26 miles long. Why we don't have all boom boats right there? Cleaning that up before our tides turn. Our tides turns today in four hours. That's going to be inshore. It's going to be on our beaches, right back in our marshland. Well, we're, we're, we're almost out of time, but whose fault is that? Who should be on top it's of BP. that? It's BP. BP's fault. They, they need to disperse, take these all boom boats, send them out there. Somebody's in charge. They need to find out who. That's the person that needs, they need to find out to get these boats out of here. I can bring them to the oil spill right, right now today, right here on Shore Grand Isle. I've seen the pictures. I know exactly where it's at. I got guys that's willing to go with their boats, but they're tied up today. All right, Chris Hernandez, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you yes, very much. Lori, I'm going to send it back to you in New York. We'll have more, of course, on the spill as we come back throughout the day. Okay.